wonderful. So thank you again. My name is Jackie Ferrado, and I am the Community Relations Manager with the Washington 529 College Savings Plans, as Tracy mentioned. Now, the Washington 529 Savings Plan, so WA 529, includes the Guaranteed Education Tuition Program and the Dream Ahead College Investment Plan. And we're going to talk about those today in more detail. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here um, and share this information with you. And one of the things I'm going to do, though, as to kind of like prep us for all this information about Law 5 tonight about Get It, about Dream Ahead, is to tell you a little bit, too, about the WA 529 mission, who we are and what we do. But we're going to do a bit of an overview, too, about 529 plans in general and what they are and how they work. And then I'm going to get into kind of the meat of this information, which is really getting to know Get and Dream Ahead. And then I'm going to end our time with some tips and some resources and just some additional dialogue. Now, a couple things I wanted you to know ahead of time is if you have any questions at all, I would encourage you to put them in the Q&A box because I'm going to plan to stop and look at that as if I can. I don't I don't know if I can see the Q&A box. I can't see the Q&A box. So you know what? Put I, it in the chat box. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I enabled the Q&A, Jackie. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. If you have questions along the way, put it in the chat box. I'm going to try to stop periodically and take some of those questions. But I also, a couple of things I want you to be thinking about as I'm kind of presenting this information. So oftentimes I am presenting directly to parents, grandparents, and family members, and really talking about like how they can get started. Now, you may be one of those parents or grandparents or family members who's Going to, you're going to absorb this information in a couple of different ways. You're going to think about it for yourself, maybe, for how you can be helping to support um, a child or a grandchild or another young person in your life with information about how to save. Um, but it, you're also going to be able to go back to some of the communities that you're in, your, your schools, your families, your, your extended communities or, or places, other places that you work in, and are involved and, and share this information. So you're going to hear right towards the end a little bit that I am available also to do mini sessions, to do lunch and learns in workplaces, and even to do parent nights. So if those, keep those things in mind as I'm presenting this. And then you'll have my contact information again so you can reach out to me. So the first thing we're going to talk about is us, WA 529, and what our mission is. So according to the, um, ed the Center on Education and Workforce, nearly 70% of job openings are still requiring, and that's going to continue to grow, that some form of education beyond high school is going to be imperative. So whether a student is going to choose to attend a traditional four-year public or private college or university, if they're interested in a certificated program at a community college or a technical or vocational school, or even an apprenticeship program, the education that they pursue is going to be invaluable to them to secure a job, to start a career, and to pursue the things that are, are meaningful to them, the dreams that they have. Now, Coupled with that, college tuition is increasing two to three times the rate of inflation every year. And more than 60% of student financial aid comes in the form of loans versus grants. That means that students are going to be burdened with that. They're going to be looking at, like, how am I going to pay for this, whatever education that is that they're going to pursue. And we, what our plans are meant to do is to help families eliminate, reduce, prevent at, at best the overburdening of student loan debt simply by saving early on. That's what the 529 plans are for and why we exist. So 529 plans, they were created in the 80s. They grew in popularity since the mid 1990s and they provide families a way to save money with a tax advantage on the earnings portion. So that's where we're going to go as we're talking through what 529 plans and get and dream ahead. Now, the WA 529, again, stands for Washington 529 College Savings Plans, and that includes the GET program. With most, most people actually recognize that. They know the name. They've seen the logo. They've heard it because GET has been open since 1998. 
And Dream Ahead College Investment Plan is also a 529 plan, but it's our newest plan here in Washington. It's a different type of 529 plan, and that opened in 2018. So we got about 22 years of experience with one program and then just over three years experience with another one. Now, WA 529 works under directives that are outlined in statute. That means that we are here to promote a well-educated and financially secure population. And we do that by helping families prepare for their children or their grandchildren's um, college experiences by getting that money saved ahead of time. Now, financial wellness and education is at the center of the outreach and the community relations work that we do as an agency and as an organization, but it really is a lot about what I do too, and I've been doing it for over 20 years. And this work through partnerships, such as the one that we have here with BEP, um, that we have been able to bring this kind of information and particularly this webinar to you today. So my goal today is to make sure that you have some um, questions to answers and maybe even, or answers to questions, and maybe even answers to questions you didn't even know you had yet. So if you learn anything new or you hear something that you've never heard before or unique about the Get or Dream Ahead plan, I would really love if you could put that in the chat chat box too at some point, if you heard something that, you, that was kind of surprising to you. So let's get started. What is a 529 plan? Now, maybe you guys know this, and if you do, that's really, really wonderful. But what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do in talking about it again is really just kind of like lay the groundwork for the rest of the information. And so this will be a bit of an overview for you. So 529 plans are tax advantaged college savings plans, and they were designed to help families save for their children or even their grandchildren's future education expenses. Now, the earnings portion in a 529 plan is going to grow tax-free, and then it will remain tax-free when that student beneficiary, so when that child grows up, they graduate from high school, and they're ready to pursue some level of education, when they use their money in their 529 plan for what's called qualified educational expenses. Now, these are going to be things like tuition and fees, room and board, whether the student is living on or off campus. Uh, books and required supplies are qualified educational expenses, and that includes if the student needs to have a laptop or a computer. If there are software requirements that your student's program of study is going to require, and even paying the internet service that will support the student through their program of study, all qualified educational expenses. And in December of 2019, as part of the Secure Act, it now became a you can now begin to use 529 plan money to pay down existing student loan debt. Now, what's so unique about that is that prior to that passing, if somebody had money in a 529 plan for a particular child or beneficiary, and that student or even a sibling of that student had some existing student loan debt that still needed to be paid down, the account owner would have to refund their 529 plan and refunding it means there are uh, taxes on the earnings and a penalty fee that's assessed. Well, once that passed in the SECURE Act, you can now directly pay it down without that being considered a refund. So what's really cool about that though is that that pay down can be for even a, a sibling of a beneficiary. So if that sibling has student loan debt, you can use that money to pay that down. So that's really a new, it's a new thing. It's been almost, uh, so December of 2019, so just a little over a year now that that's passed. Now, uh, there's a hyperlink on here. You're gonna see them throughout this presentation. You'll have access to this later, so you can click right to it. But IRS publication 970 and specifically chapter eight will outline in more detail all of these qualified educational expenses. Now, the other part of 529 plans is where the student has to go to school, right? So it's been, most people have always uh, understood a traditional four-year public or private university, but the student can actually attend a community, technical, or vocational school anywhere in the United States and even schools in foreign countries. And also part of the SECURE Act, it was passed that a student can now use their 529 plan monies to pay for ex expenses at an apprenticeship program. 
So your student, a family who has very little children, they're not going to know where their kids are going to go or what dreams they have to pursue, what career they might be planning for. But because there's such a variety and different pathways of education that a student might choose, that money saved is going to help pay towards expenses so the student doesn't end up being overburdened with student loan debt. So in a nutshell, tax advantage college savings plans, as long as the student uses it for qualified educational expenses at eligible educational institutions nationwide and abroad. Now, the hyperlinks on here are two resources that you'll, you'll, you'll have access to them as well. They help you look up. Um, where a school might be, what that is that school eligible. And I'll tell you, I've worked for the program for over 20 years. There are more eligible schools than there are not. So in all the 20 years I've worked for the program, I would probably count on one hand, maybe two, how many students throughout the time that I've worked for the program actually chose a school or a, a um pathway to education that wasn't a qualified educational institution. So there are so many. So don't let that be something that you worry the most about.